Okay, here we are uh, demonstrating the Easy Safe can opener. We're in uh, Queensland and Toowoomba, um, in a little caravan park. Um, now, the Easy Safe can opener is quite compact, so it's great for the traveller if you're travelling around the cabins, uh, caravan parks, uh, RVs, caravans, the camper. It doesn't take up a lot of room. It's manually operated, so no power, no batteries required. All right, we're going to demonstrate it on these cans that are here in front of me. We've got the good old-fashioned ring pull, which is quite dangerous. Uh, we've got square ones, odd shaped ones. We've got very thick cans and large cans right down to our very thin aluminium cans. It does them all. Okay, the Easy Safe can opener. Uh, it's got two stainless steel rollers there. Grabs the factory seal from the side, separates the factory seal. So no sharp edges on your can, no sharp edges on your lid. All right, we'll pop it on a can, give it a run. We're starting with a pull tab. The pull tabs are not that great. Uh, very hard to use sometimes. Uh, leave very sharp edges on the top of the can and on the lid of the can. So now you pop it on top of the can, the roller goes on the inside lip, fingers underneath, palm on top of the tongue. Now don't push down on it, that hand's just there for a bit of support. Turn this handle, the roller comes across, it locks onto the factory seal and you're off and running. Now if you're left handed or your friend's left handed, you can spin it around, you can use it with your left hand as well. It's one of the only can openers that is designed for left handed people. Now when you've gone all the way around, you feel a definite bump. It's like a change in resistance. All right, now it's still locked onto the can, don't try and re reef it off, just give it a quarter turn back, that re releases it from the can. Never comes in contact with the food, so no bacteria or germs on your uh, opener. The lid never falls into the food, you never have to jimmy it off with a knife or a screwdriver, you always get that perfect separation. No sharp edges on the top of your lid, and no sharp edges on the top of the can. Now if you're serving out of the can, might be barbecues or picnics, you can pop the lid back on. That keeps the dust and the flies out for you. You could rest that in the fridge for a couple of hours or overnight if you wish you've got a lid for your can. Now let's try an odd shaped can. This is also a ring pull. It's a uh, can of deli ham. Pop it on top, top of the can once again. Remembering no put pressure down, just use that hand as support. And as we come up to the top here, you see it just nicely goes around that curve. Off we go to the other odd shaped end and around it goes until you've gone all the way around you feel that little bump or a release and there we go we remove the can once again no sharp edges on your lid no sharp edges on the top of your can okay we're now going to demonstrate it on quite a quite a large can um, it's also beetroot which can be very messy uh, with a lot of can openers slipping and tipping it out all right so once again fingers underneath the tongue palm on top now don't push down just support with that hand turn this handle, that roller comes across and off we go. Now this is quite a large can for the household or for the traveller, caravan or camper, but it does it with ease, just as easy as the um, small one. Once again you can do it left handed. Alright now we're just about there, all the way around, there we go, we've got that release and a quarter turn back and there we go. Now you notice there's no beetroot on the outside of the can and there we go, we have that perfect separation. No sharp edges once again on either side. All right, we'll just pop that top back on there. We'll try a nice thin can as well. Now, this is a thin aluminium can, just showing that it does do the thin ones as well as the thick ones. Off we go. These smaller ones you can actually lift off the tabletop. And there we go. So there's a nice thin aluminium can. Once again, no sharp edges on your lid and no sharp edges on the top of that can. Okay, now we have a square can. This is a square can of um, ham, or corned beef it is actually. Now once again we get those corners and around it goes. Now we do have to give it a little bit of a turn. It's like a nudge around the corners like you normally would on any other sort of can opener. So just twisting it around those corners. And up to the other end. Quarter turn back releases it, and there we go. Once again, no sharp edges, and no sharp edges on the can. All right, now to get the corned beef out, quite hard just to shake it out. So we pop it on a plate, and now we're going to go around the bottom of it. All right, once again, just giving it a hand around those corners. Up the straight. All right, around that second to last corner. Up the straight again. When we've gone all the way around we feel that little bump, there it is, quarter turn back releases it and there's the bottom off it. Now to get that ham out you simply slide the tin off it and there we go. 
Okay, cleaning our can opener. Uh, remembering it doesn't cut or pierce the can, it only separates the factory seal. It doesn't come in contact with the food, so it very rarely needs cleaning. Um, now, don't put a can opener, don't put any can opener in the dishwasher. Um, all they need, if you do think it needs a clean, a little bit of a scrubbing rush, give it a scrub off, make sure it's dry before you put it away. But really, all they need is just to wipe down the, the messiest they get is uh, oil or, or food from your hands from handling the can opener. Okay, reusing the can and the lid once you've opened the can. Now remembering, once again, no sharp edges on either side. So once you've got it open, if you're uh, serving out of the can, maybe barbecues or picnics, you can pop the lid back on. That suffices as a uh, lid for your can. You could also put that into the fridge uh, if you wanted to rest it for a couple of hours or perhaps overnight. Great for dog food and cat food as well. Keeps the smell out of the fridge. Now reusing the actual can, remembering, no sharp edges, so you'll never cut, scratch, or hurt yourself reaching in and out of there. Nails around the shed, around the sewing cabinet for the wife, uh, maybe even given to the kids for the pens or pencils. And if you're around the campfire, you could even use them as drinking vessels. Okay, when purchasing your can opener, uh, look for the Easy Safe logo to ensure that you get Australia's greatest can opener. It's left or right-handed and comes with a 12-month guarantee.